Okay, well, I'm gonna take a shovel full of soil and I'm gonna make sure it's big, a pretty big load of soil on the end of my shovel. And I wanna know, can I get a buck for every soil microorganism in this shovel full of soil? Do I have any takers? Buck for every soil micro, what is it, five, 10? Maybe cost you a 20 spot? No. Turns out, if you take that bet, a dollar for every soil microbe in this soil, if you would give me that, I guess I would turn around and hand it right back to the U.S. government because that would eliminate the entire national debt by giving me a dollar for every soil microbe in this shovel full of soil. And I think that I think the national debt is up around 15 trillion dollars or so and increasing. And so whenever I do this demonstration, I have to keep getting a bigger and bigger shovel full of soil. So I hope that someone will give me a buck for every microbe in this uh, shovel of soil pretty soon. Otherwise, I'll need a bigger shovel to cover the national debt. But what I want to talk to you about is the microbes that are in the soil and how diversity begats the diversity of microbes and why you should care about that. And it, it really comes down to managing your workforce. The microbes that are in there, let's, let's say, I say there's roughly 15 trillion microbes in that shovel full of dirt. You may think of them as your labor force, 15 trillion laborers. And they're, they're your labors and what you need to do is treat them so they can do their job. And then you have the teenagers, you know, you gotta get them a summer job, right? You know, and they're working at Burger King or something, and they're hanging out by the plants. Plants are leaking all these sugars and organic acids, and these youngsters, they don't have a lot of skills yet, but they no sure know how to gobble up this sugar. <laughs> <laughs>